We're here today with Paul. He's uh, one of the representatives from the distributor of Shark Helmets. And today we're looking at which kind of helmet, Paul? Uh, this is the Evo Line helmet. This is our new uh, convertible helmet. Um, first, what I want to uh, tell you about is, is the Shark brand. Some, Shark is new to the U.S. It's been in the country for about five years. But Shark is not a new helmet com company. They've been around for about 15 years in Europe. Um, what's unique about Shark is, is they, are, they build their own helmets. They don't build for anybody else. Uh, they strive to make the safest helmet on the market, and, and later on in this video, I'm going to show you why this is one of the safest helmets on the market. One of the one of the safety factors is ECE 22. By law, all helmets have to be DOT, and then of course, I'm sure you're familiar with the Snell rating. Uh, the Snell rating uh, set the standards for helmet safety, and and everybody around the world followed Snell and what is what the ECE rating was actually developed in the United Nations by all the countries and they came up with the universal helmet safety rating. The difference between Snell and ECE is Snell will do an impact test uh, on the helmet. They'll do a double impact and the helmet not, is not supposed to pass more than 300 G's of force. What ECE d testing does is they do a little bit more of uh, real situation accidents where it gets tested on six points of the helmet. You're going to get both sides, the back, the front, the top, and the face shield. And it's not supposed to have more than 275 G's of force transferred through the shell, the liner, into the head, and also it's supposed to have a very low duration of uh, energy transferred through the shell and the liner. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the features of the Evil Line helmet. Okay, The helmet is designed with a fog-free face shield, so this will not fog up. Also, it has a scratch-resistant coating on it as well. All shark face shields are injected molded. It's not a cut lex and enfolded. And with the injection molding, that means it's optically correct, so you're not going to have any distortions throughout the helmet. Now, the unique design with this helmet is that it's actually a modular, so now you have a full face helmet, but what's going to happen is the chin bar is going to come out and it's going to snap in. Now you have a true open face helmet. Because of this, this helmet holds two ECE ratings. It holds an ECE rating as a full face helmet, and it holds an ECE rating as an open face helmet. Now, when, when the chin bar is locked back, it's a full open face, and, the, and then you can utilize the sun visor. You can also utilize this sun visor when the chin bar is down as well, okay? As the face shield will come down as well, okay? How do you do the uh, sun visor part? The sun visor is operated up here, okay. and it's on the slide. Sweet. Okay. The ventilation on the helmet is is activated through the front here, up on up on top. Whoops! Look at what I'm doing here. <laughs> and also on the chin vent. Okay. okay. The liner is completely removable, so you can actually pull the cheek pads out and wash it, and you can also pull the liner out and wash it. Now, what I'm going to show you why why the Shark brand is one of the safest helmets on the market is because of their energy absorption. Uh, all your energy absor is absorbed through, through the EPS liner. The shell is designed to disperse the impact and the EPS liner is designed to absorb it. All conventional helmets will have an EPS liner and it gives you about two millimeters of absorption. Once that bottoms out, then that's when you, your brain injury occurs. What happens here is Shark has developed what's called a crumple zone and this increases the energy absorption by 25 millimeters. In ECE testing, uh, Shark helmets rated anywhere between I believe 98 to about 150 G's of force transferred through the shell where you may take your two top of the line helmets on the market right now and they're about 200 G's of force. So sharks transferring less force into your brain technically. Is exactly, that okay. and that's even with their polycar plastic shell helmets. Normally a fiber shell helmet will uh, absorb and disperse better than a plastic shell, but even with their plastic shell helmets, they're not passing more than 150 Gs of force. So it's definitely a lot safer helmet on the market uh, with the ECE rating on the helmet. Sweet. And uh, the name of this helmet again? This is called the Shark Evo Line Helmet. Okay. And we've been speaking with Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. All right. Thank you. <laughs>